Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a mobile phone number using Kotlin. So in this tutorial, a valid mobile phone number is going to be a string, which starts with a plus, and every other element or character of that string is a digit. This string can't be less than 10 characters long or greater than 13 characters long, including the plus. So with with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So we do val user input equals this string. This is just a random phone number. And then we're going to do print line is valid phone number user input. This is going to be the function we're going to make in a second. This is obviously uh, our user input we want to validate. And print line is going to just print the result of the function. So let's go and define it. Fun is valid phone number phone colon string colon boolean. So this is a function, it's called isValidPhoneNumber. The first parameter is going to be called phone and it's going to be of a type string. That's also our only parameter. Then we do Boolean because it's a true or a false that gets returned. True for valid, false for invalid. The first parameter we're going to do is we're going to do if phone.length is less than 10 or phone.length is greater than 13, return false. So basically we're checking the length. It, we're doing a range check actually here. Click the eye up in the corner if you want a full tutorial on how to do a range check. And we are basically saying, right, if the phone number is less than 10 characters long or greater than 13 characters long, we return a false because I don't care about the rest of the pr conditions. If this isn't valid, then it can't be valid. So that's why we're doing it like this. After we do if phone zero is not equal to plus, return false. So. Phone zero is checking the first character of this phone string. It's a, it's, it, since a string is basically a character array, that's why we use an index of zero as opposed to putting in a one. And we're checking if it's a plus. If it's not a plus, we return false because I don't care about the rest of the number. If it's not a plus at the start, it's not valid. And we obviously put apostrophes as opposed to speech marks because it's a character, not a string we're checking for. And obviously we do return false to, because it's not valid. Then we're going to do for i in one until phone.length, which is a type of for loop. And basically we're going to be looping from element number one to the end of this string. So element number one is going to be the second element because obviously the first element would be zero. So basically skipping the plus because we don't want to try and convert the plus to, to check if it's a digit because we know it's not a digit. So basically looping through all the numbers in the phone number or everything after the plus to check that it's a digit. A digit is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero. If it's not one of those, it's invalid. And so we can do if not character dot is digit phone i return false. Basically, for each character we're in this uh, loop, we're going to check if it's a digit. And if it's not a digit, we return false. Otherwise, we just carry on with the loop. After all of that, we do return true because if it made it through all of these checks and it's we're still in the function, it's valid, so we return true. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Let's hit the play button and see what happens. And it's true because that's a valid phone number. What if we put an O instead of a plus? And now it's false because it doesn't meet the criteria. So we're going to put a plus again, but we're going to put in more eights on the end. And it's false. Now we're going to put a plus and then 10 A's. That looks like 10. And it's false. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials. Thanks for watching.